Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again, General Technology Knowledge. Today I would like to show and share about how to read data from encoder to show on display of a PLC Siemens logo by using software logo soft comfort. Before create the program, I would like to explain a little bit about how to wiring connection from encoder to the PLC. Okay. So first I have power plug, uh, 220 volt AC, connected to circuit breaker and supply to power supply. Okay. For this power supply, input is 220 volt AC and output is 24 volt DC okay and here is the connection power supply to uh, supply the PLC Siemens logo 24 volt DC and here is the encoder for encoder we can uh, supply 24 volt DC to uh, the supply and this is a PAL signal from encoder to the input of PLC logo okay so let's go to create the program for test to uh, show the value on the display of Siemens logo when I rotate the encoder it will uh, show the signal on the display okay so uh, let's go so right now I will use logo soft comfort version 7 yes so let's open and create the new program yes here we can uh, write the project name example uh, test encoder and click OK yes for uh, rotate the encoder I will use the two inputs yeah so I need to add two input input number one yeah I will zoom in a little bit Okay, input number one and input number two for uh, control the counter. And the next step, I will use the counter up down. Yes. Okay. Right. So I will connect the counter up down to the input. So connect to input. Okay, and then I will set the parameter of the counter. So uh, double click. Yes. So here we can uh, let allow the counter count to uh, example ten thousand. Yes. So click OK. And we need to show the display on the Siemens logo right when we rotate the encoder so I will use the message text yeah here and then I will use the stator yes so when stator high then it will show the display okay and we need to set the parameter of the display also so double click on it and then go to uh, B001 and choose the counter this one double click and then here is the display that we want to show example I would like to show here I would like to show here so maybe I need to show on the middle yes so I put here 
and then click OK right so next I will uh, create the this one yes so I will use N and use the flag one yes for control the air of counter yes like this so when I rotate it is the forward and reverse yeah when we uh, rotate the encoder it will show the value up and down okay so let uh, download to uh, Siemens logo yes download the program so click here and uh, it will confirm to stop yes so I let stop the CPU right now downloading and then I will run the CPU again and actually we can online yeah, to see the status when we uh, rotate the encoder Okay, like this. So let me show the status of encoder. Yes. Okay, right now uh, encoder show uh, zero. Yes. So when I rotate the encoder, you see, the value is up, okay, rotate, yes, if I would like to decrease the value, I just reverse, yes, so uh, floppy is down counter right so if you would like to uh, make the clock piece or until clock piece we can uh, change on the connection here yeah or we uh, can change on the program also so uh, let me show So we can uh, change here. Okay, I will outline first. So I will change from I1 to I2 and I2 to I1. Okay. Can change like this. Connector, yes. Okay. And we can uh, download again. So let download again and then run the CPU. Yes. So I will rotate the encoder again. Okay, right now if I rotate to uh Clock Y, yeah, let's see. It will uh, change, yes. Anti clock Y, yes. It will down, yes. So we can change both connection here, or we can uh, change on the program, yes. Okay. So I can adjust, yeah, rotate. Okay. So it is uh, just instruction how to read the data from encoder by using PLC 
Simon logo, yes. And we can uh, take this uh, data to control the other program that we want, okay? So thank you very much for watching my video. And if everyone have any question, please drop comment under my video. I will reply soon. And I would like to request all of you to like, share, and subscribe my channel also to get more notification and more new videos that I will create step by step. And I'm also sorry if I have mistake in this video. And in this time, I would like to say thank you very much again. And see you next videos. Bye-bye.